tech giant Huawei on Monday unveiled two laptops powered by Harmony OS, marking the debut of its self-developed operating system on personal computers. The launch of the Huawei MateBook Pro and MateBook Fold Ultimate design signals the company's push to expand Harmony OS beyond smartphones and tablets into a PC market long led by Microsoft's Windows and Apple's Mac OS. You thought foldable screens were just for smartphones? Huawei is breaking all the rules. The MateBook Fold Ultimate design is Huawei's first foldable laptop, and it bends like a book. 18 inches when open, 13 inches when folded. Runs on Harmony OS 5 and syncs seamlessly with any Huawei device. It weighs just 1.16 kilograms, is only 7.3 millimeters thin, and features an LTPO OLED display with 3.3K resolution and 1,600 nits brightness. Add to that anti-gravity cooling, adaptive refresh rate, and access to 150 plus exclusive apps. Comes in three colors, up to two terabytes of storage. Price starts at $3,300. But here's the real question. Why hasn't Apple done this yet? And open. It's actually a computer. Oh, three fingers is dragging. Five fingers is a full screen. Eight fingers is a keyboard. I have the MateBook Fold, the first folding computer. Expand it out. This is an 18 inch screen. It's a three to four ratio. Uh, and then if it folds, in the case of folding, here's a 3 to 2 ratio. Here's also a 3 to 2 ratio. And someone will say, well, what about the keyboard? That's it. Four fingers slipped. So here it is. And it has many, it has a lot of this theme. I just watched it. I like what I see. This is nice. Then I think the touch should be okay to sound and vibration. If it vibrates, there is also a button tone. Then there are also sound effects that can be set. It's just that it might be a little noisy here now. I can't hear the keyboard sound effect of it at all. I mean, it, there is tactile feedback, but I think we can do it a little bit bigger because the screen is big. Like what? Sometimes you have to cut movies or look at the picture. It is very convenient to do PPT with a large screen. It has an integrated bracket. Just unfold it. So let's just leave it here. Then it will also have a keyboard with a star flash link. Then we can also fight. Then it can be magnetized. First of all, if you prefer this kind of physical buttons, you can use magnetism like this. Then there is another word. It's your flat. When you want to, for example, if you want to take it and go, it can magnetically attract the outside of you. Just take it and go. All can be magnetically attracted. Yes, yes, yes. Excuse me. And then that and so on. The keyboard facing out can also be equivalent to a... It's basically a protective case because its uh, technology is also skin friendly. And it's stain and wear resistant. 1.16 kilograms. It's lighter than a MacBook Air. And it's also very thin. The narrowest place you can see is 7.3 millimeters. <laughs> 像一个花花腰的太恐怖了我的天哪这是一台不折而这个是一台三折哇太沉了超大折把我的脸都挡住了这应该是我开箱过华为最大的一个产品包装了就是华为刚刚在发布会上发布的华为 哦，这个黑色的花纹很好看啊，然后它整个的这一面呢是一个素皮的材质，哇，真的太大了，这个电脑，然后来进行一次首次的折叠，哦，这个折起来就特别像一本书，这样拿着很好看，就是你很难想象
，非常的稳，非常的稳。最薄的地方只有 7.3 毫米的机器里面，居然塞进去了两个风扇，只需要八根手指同时放在这上面，键盘就出来了。这个键盘，这样一看，它就变成了一个相对来说比较正常的13英寸的笔记本的形态，也用了特别好的震动马达，然后这个声音的反馈也都特别到位，就是你可以拿它大屏，然后沉浸式的看一些视频和剧，就特别爽。然后你同时也可以兼顾办公，这就是一个。特别好的一个解决方案，我觉得放视频的话，它就是这样一个感觉。然后你觉得这样还不够爽，还想要更极致的大屏的体验，你就可以把它掰直。<笑>这像一个花光一样，我这太恐怖了！我的天哪！<笑>我把它掰直，再点击这个全屏，我的天哪！这个小红书的刷小红书的体验，你受得了吗？这个键盘，如果你不习惯在屏幕上直接去打字的话，它还配备了一块单独的这个有点像蓝牙键盘的一个键盘。我最开始以为它只是这样一个打字的状态，但是我刚才把它放到上面了，看这有个磁吸啊，有个磁吸的结构，吸上去，放下来，它就会弹出来，请连接键盘，你就可以像一个特别正常的电脑一样。去在一个实体键盘上打字，去办公。呃，可能有些小伙伴会觉得，就是这个键盘放在上面，那我合上的时候会不会把屏幕挤压坏呢？但其实你看，它会有一个声音，听到了吗？而且是持续的。然后它会在屏幕上面显示，请勿直接下压，避免损伤屏幕。这个细节做的还是非常到位的，就是也可以变成一个分体的键盘嘛。那这样它的使用的灵活度和使用场景就更加丰富了。这么去用，是一种形态。然后你也可以把它。竖过来用，当然，你不想一直拿在手里的话，这后面这个支架看到了吗？你可以拿这个去看视频。然后在细节这里面可以看到，在这样形态下，它这里是有一个摄像头的，它的这个风扇，不知道大家能不能看得清啊？这个风扇的出风口这里有，这里有，然后同样的，下面这里。也有两个出风口啊。至于系统上的使用体验方面，在之前的鸿蒙电脑的开箱当中，跟大家仔细分享过。OK， 那这就是这一台华为超大折叠屏电脑，华为 MateBook Fold 的开箱。然后至于后面的使用体验呢，我们持续的给大家输出一些内容。OK， 我们下一期视频再见。